What's going on guys, I'm Galaxies here and today I have episode 8 of the Grinsby Town career mode. Thank you guys so much for the support on episode 7, I really do appreciate it. So having a look at the squad, uh, we don't really, really how to change it up at all. Jacob Murphy's still out injured, really disappointing, got a training injury, still out. We're going to put Davis back in for Mills and I don't know, might leave the same because Clark's doing okay, he's only like 44 rated but he's still doing a good job. Um, so, I do think we're playing Barnet at home, if I'm not mistaken. So, let's have a quick look. So, yeah, Barnet at home. So, yeah, let's jump straight into it. Okay, here we are back at Blundell Park. We haven't seen a win for a while. Hopefully, we can get a win. Come on, boys. It's a good way to nick the ball back. Quick thinking. Here we go. And Bo will get there with his strength. He's not the fastest, but he has a lot of strength on his side. Oh, Andrew, the left back. Can you do something with it? No, he can't. Get back, Andrew. Come on, mate. For Craig Disley. Clark. Disley. Back to Clark. Good forward. To Bogle. He might be through. It's 1 0 Grimsby! And they've scored now, and the significance is that they're in front. Great finish, that was great play. Is that Connor Clark with the assist? I think it is. The 17 year old rookie listed player. Great finish, Amar Bogle. He is now coming so critical in front of the goal. Great finish, mate. Question is can the Grimsby boys hold on? I saw it, he just doesn't have any strength about his game. The approach play looked They're coming back though. It is no need for it. Grimsby Town get a 1 0 win against Barn at bottom of the league. They did have a very good um, second half. Apparently, they only had two shots, but look like they had a lot more. They only had one shot in that half. We had four shots, one on target for one goal on Mar Bogle. Alright. Are we moving up the table slowly? Football League 2. I think we're like 13th or something or 15th. Where are we now? Colchester United. No emails. Stevenage. One. Prue Alexandra. Okay, we're 12th. Got a bit of training to do. We'll do the same training. Hopefully, get Connor Clark up a bit more. He's been a very good spark to the team. As Jacob Murphy has been out, good. He's growing. That's what I have to see. And Connor Clark. Late Norian. One. Plymouth Argyle. Three. Mansfield Town. One. Portsmouth. One. Morecambe. We've got our next game again. Notts County, one. Newport County, Ah, oh, this one. is a very hard game. The Wanderers, nil. I reckon we'll be away against Plymouth as well. This is going to be very hard. We hope we're away as well. It's going to be the same team we're going to the game with that we did last our last game. So, yeah, let's just jump straight into this game against Plymouth. Okay, it's 1st versus 12th. It's as big as a game as it gets for Grimsby now. We can't beat them now. How are we going to beat them in, in potential playoff matches? We did beat Grins uh, We did beat Portsmouth. Surely we can beat Plymouth and Claymouth now. Clark tried to find Summerfield. Oh, Asoro. Oh, oh, it's a free kick, Grimsby. It's in a really tricky okay. position too. Asura could be our man. And haven't scored a free kick in this career mode yet. Trying to get it off the Oh! Oh, so close. Patience is the name of the game at the moment. So close. Penalty! It is a penalty! It's a penalty here. Well that's. A dark moment for the this could be huge. What a chance for the opposition to take the lead now from the resultant penalty. Yeah, this might be decisive. Definitely a penalty. A turning point in this match. Oh gosh, who's our best penalty taker? Summerfield. I have to. Get, I have to get sore off his drought. It could kill me. Oh god. Sensational save. Oh, that's a really important stop. Brilliant. With his legs, what a save. I'm gutted. Oh boys, this is huge game. Connor Clark. 
our rookie, Tomar Bogle. Thought more would have come from that, you know. Form for me. Does it again, oh, Andrew. There in that wide area. Oh, done never well. pass across goal. Here you go. This is good here. Moving forward with some danger. Connor Clark. Asoro. It's 1 0 Grimsby. Asoro's drought is over. Look at this nice play. Bogle to Connor Clark. To Asoro. What a finish, mate. Beautiful. Give it off to Mar Bogle. Plays through Brownie. Try to play through Asoro. He gets it back. Asoro, can he bury the game? It's a penalty. It's another penalty conceded. It's a red card. Asoro for his second. And he buries it. <laughs> 2 0 Grinsby. We're going to be top of the table. Asoro's got two now. What a peno, mate. Great peno. Could have a hat trick. I saw I could have had a hat trick. Widen the margin here to 2 0. Top of the table. Attacking now. Now she's now she's got to keep the clean sheet. We deserve the clean sheet. Completed really. To Asoro, who wants the hat trick. Plays through Brownie. And he could get away here. It's 3 0 Grinsby! Oh, the extra player has definitely been a factor in this goal. What is going on? Team struggle with extra men, but not this side. They've been cute and they've picked out those little. Asoro with two goals and an assist in this game. He is back. Brown, I think that might be his first goal of the league, is it? It's his second goal of the English Football League. Pace for those defenders, you can see. Grinsby Town, three. Playmore. Nil. At a time. And here is a minimum of three minutes. Oh no, they're getting through. We deserve a clean sheet. We deserve one. Hit the post. And we could still be getting it. We do get it. Well, three nil Grimsby is the final score. How well they played and they. Plymouth. Plymouth, I got. Sorry for my pronunciation. <coughs> six shots, five on target. Six shots, three on target. But it's the Grimsby boys making all the noise. That's the biggest win. Okay, Portsmouth scored three. One. But and Casilla one. So we actually have the biggest win of the league at the, the round so far. Yeovil Town nil. Carlisle United. And we're ninth. Newport County two. And we're versing Wickham Wanderers, who was seventh. Wickham one. This is huge now. This is this is getting back up there where it used to be. Doncaster Rovers one. The players are going. Connor Clark, Notts County two. Came coming through the youth academy. Seventeen years old. Portsmouth three. Hartlepool United one. Wickham Wanderers one. Lake Norient two. So what? So might be a changed lineup. At the top of the table. We will, we're going to attend this press conference. In Grimsby Town praise the Mariners. Notts County with thirty three points. In third, Portsmouth with 31 points. Before I want to go, I see how Connor Clark's growing. The table are Blackpool with 29 points. In fifth, Plus five, so I think I might have done an objective here, boys. With 29 points. In seventh, Wickham Wanderers with 25 points. In eighth, Carlisle... Did I do one of the objectives? I think I might have. Bottom of the table, Barnet with 11 points. And then reading up the table... I did that, bottom, though. Maybe he hasn't played five games. 16 points. Third bottom, Colchester United with 17 points. Fifth bottom and falling are Accrington Stanley with 19 points. Alright, so hopefully it's the same team. We'll simulate up to the Wickham Wanderers game. We are at home. Is the team fit? Do I risk that team? We are versing another team in a few days. I'll take off Bogle, he's a bit buggered. I'll take off Clark. We'll play Conley there, he's been very good for us. Even though he's only on loan, he's still been a good service to Grimsby. So 
I think that'll be the team we'll go into the game with against Wickham Wanderers. It is ninth versus seventh. We are finally back up there. So hopefully we can win the next two games of the episode. So yeah, let's go Grimsby, let's jump into it. Here we are back at Blundell Park. Hi everybody, Martin Tyler here with In a good episode so far, can we continue it? For you today. Yeah, Fun to fact, 2008, I saw this exact fixture when Grimsby were in the Football League. Wickham were actually top of the ladder back in the day and they were destined for promotion in the 2008-2009 season. Yeah, I think it was, I'm not too sure. But yeah, I did see this fixture at Blundell Park. So a bit of a fun fact for the Grimsby faithful. Pearson, good hit. He gets through Amar Bogle. Amar Bogle! Oh, what a... Oh my God, it's not over yet. Vos, that's got to be a foul. No, it's nil all the final score. Disappointing there. Not much really happened. How many shots we had? Four shots, one on target. Three shots, none on target. Bit of a disappointing game. I look at the ladder. Hopefully, we don't drop down too much. We we're ninth versus seventh. Accrington Stanley nil. Plymouth. Easily drop down two. a bit now. Colchester United nil. Portsmouth one. Okay, we're still ninth. Colchester Rovers one. Carlisle I don't know who we're playing in a few days. I'll have a look. That Newport. We're playing Newport away, and Jackson would like to play a game. I'm probably going to get rid of Jackson. Probably going to get rid of. Probably going to be looking to get rid of Jackson in January, but we'll chuck him on the bench. Get another attacking option on there for Mills. Bring Bogle back in the starting lineup, as well as Connor Clark, who can take Summerfield's place. And he's really tired, so we'll go with that. Because Connor Clark, look at him. He's growing very well. I was trying to be like his fifth game or something. So I have a quick look at this, his squad report. I haven't really had a look at him in that much detail. Connor Clark, he's played 10 games. Grown by 5. Hasn't scored yet. He's got 2 assists, so... Yeah, let's jump in this game away at Hartlepool. At Newport. Alright, Newport. Alright guys, here we are. The player to watch is apparently Ben Davis. Away from home. Can we go undefeated in this episode? And maybe push for that top 7 spot. We're still ninth. You now we had a chance to probably go into the top 7 again. Get that out first time, mate. Good. Chambers win that down. To Connor Clark. Here we go. Connor Clark to Asoro. He's got a lot of room in front of him. Pulls it back. Connor Clark. 1-0 Grinsby. It's his first goal at the club. How he reacts. Does a belly slide. What an assist from Asoro. 11th game. First goal. Great run. Great assist. Connor Clark goes bang. Unstoppable. One there. Back post. Oh, Comley. No, oh my god, just get it out. Thank you. About to make a change. Disley, who's there? By his head. And they've got the ball still. Parkin! He's kept it Oh my god, boys. To bring them level. Oh, it's a goal. Oh no. It was coming like scruffy play. And it did actually touch him on the way in. I think there was just too much power. Oh boys, wet weather, skidded through. Get a strong enough touch. It was coming, we didn't double our lead, didn't back didn't support it enough. Jackson. Show what you got, mate. Show what you got, Jackson. Oh, what a good tackle when he's injured. It's good play until they got that. One all draw for Grimsby Town. Look at that, three things happen in the game, not much. Three shots, three on target to eight shots, three on target. Bit of a disappoint, bit of a disappointing end. We did go up so early, didn't really defend the lead at all. English Football League 2. How look where we're placed. Nil, Morecambe, one. Blackpool, nil. Mansfield Town, two. Carlisle United, nil. Lake we're gone down to ten. Nil. Cheltenham Town. Two. All right, we'll simulate up to the next game. Two. 
Crawley Town. Oh, a bit disappointing. One. Exeter City, two. Let's have a look. We're in Exeter November City, now. Two. Colchester United. Anything popping up? Not feeling up, so I didn't think you would be Ben Davis. You've been consistently playing. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode of the Grimsby Town Career Mode. If you guys can smash the like button, hit five likes. That would be really appreciated. So yeah, anyway guys, I'll catch you guys later.